check that big board. The rally has clearly faded. We were up nearly 200 points yeah. on some pretty good uh, inflation news. Now we're up 50, 25,232. Who's with me? Ryan Payne is the answer. That man right there. He's with Payne Capital Management. Now, I wanted to talk to you because <laughs> I read your stuff. Okay, I won't rant at you, okay? You're not Hillary Clinton. I'm not going to rant. You think well, the bull market is back, don't you? Make your case. Well, I mean, let's face it, we're only about 3% off the highs. NASDAQ is at an all-time high as of right now, um, you know, since we hit that peak in February. So any short-term selling that we saw in February is pretty much gone. I mean, we're back on track here. And we had big employment numbers on Friday. Yeah, terrific numbers on Friday. Good oh, yeah. inflation numbers today. Mm -hmm. Small business doing very well. Big business, the business roundtable, doing very well. So do we go up and beyond the old high on the Dow, 26,000 and change? Yeah, I mean, this is a big, booming bull market. I mean, nothing's going to be linear. But, I mean, if you look at it just from an earnings perspective, and the stock market's a slave to earnings. If you look at the consensus this year, yep. most analysts think we're going to see about a 19% growth on earnings per share. A 19% hmm. gain in profits per share issued. That's huge. Yeah, exactly. That's not good. That's huge. We're going to party like it's the early 80s again, Stuart. I mean, these are really, really good numbers. <laughs> You've been 1999. <laughs> we've probably, I'll take it. Now, one other thing. I read your stuff. You think there's a boom coming in housing. Yes. Make your case. All right. Well, I mean, think about it. Millennials. Well, hold on a second. When you say a boom, does that mean higher prices for home sales or more homes sold or what? Well, as an investor, you want to look at construction stocks, right? If there's going to be a demand for housing, yep. um, those building the housing are going to be the place to be. And we're in a great position right now because housing stocks have sold off this year. They're down about 20 percent from their highs. But if you look at them, they're relatively cheap. I mean, the S&P trades at 17 times forward earnings. Okay only about 10 times forward earnings for construction stocks. So, you know, the, number, the lower that number is, the cheaper the stocks are, and the growth looks phenomenal. If I'm a millennial right now in my 30s, you know, I'm starting to go late, late to the start there, but, you know, we're starting to see housing formation. They're starting to get married, have kids. They're going to want to move into houses, and we have a housing shortage. So all these things play really, really well. You may be in your 30s, but you talk like an old man. And that's a compliment. <laughs> that is a compliment, Ryan. It is a compliment. Oh, it's a great I'll take compliment. my 30s. I actually yeah. just turned 40. Oh, you did? I did. I did. Uh, you're all right, son. Uh, right, thanks for joining us, sir. Good stuff indeed. You'll be back. Great. All right.